Hi everyone, my name is Jesse Smith, a uh, developer for Sagan AI, a voice command application for Android. Um, a lot of times these types of applications are referred to as virtual assistants. And what these applications can do is um, they help your everyday life so that you're more efficient. So for example, texting can be tedious and it draws your attention away and you have to look at the keyboard and you know, etc. Um, voice texting is really a time saver um, and that's just one example there's, there's so many others like if you need to toggle settings you don't have to go search for them you can just use your voice um, there's so many other examples um, text emailing you know with your voice um, adding reminders opening applications a lot of times when you're you know you've had a long day and you don't want to have to think any more than you've had to um, using your voice you know can be you know um, an advantage uh, a convenience and it's more efficient overall you know during your day in the first place so I want to introduce Sagan uh, he can do quite a few things uh, he has a lot of commands and he's designed to be really efficient um, very fast using little resources and um, I would say he's probably the fastest on the market you know I haven't really looked at every one of these types of applications but I it's been the fastest um, and also with the most commands so I want to introduce Sagan here and I'll go through some uh, some commands and then I'll show you the responses as I go so here we go um, I'm going to bring Sagan up here and I'll show you his intro screen and what he does is he reads the last text message um, and he also shows your last missed phone call or any reminders that you have for the day. So let me get started here and bring my phone up. Yeah, I brought up the wrong version of Sagan. I'm sorry, I want to use the full version. So. I'll wait until this finishes here. Okay, now I'm bringing up the full version. How goes it, Jesse? What can I do for you? Your last text message is thank you. As you can see, he read the last text message. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, touch the You Say button, and I'm going to start by opening an application, uh, Facebook. Then all I have to do after I've opened it and interacted with the application is hit my uh, phone's back key. And that'll go right back to Sagan and I can perform other actions. So here I go. Open Facebook. I am learning more every day. How can I assist you, Jesse? Your last text message is thank you. Okay, and now I'm going to do another command. I'm going to set an alarm time. Uh, today is August 5th, but I'll set it for later this evening, say 8.30 p.m. So here I go. Set alarm time, 8.30 p.m. Are you sure that the alarm should be set to 8.30 p.m.? So I'm not actually going to set the alarm because I don't want it going off on my phone if I really don't need it to. So I said no to that uh, question. So now let me go on and let me add a reminder. Um, I'm going to remind myself to take the garbage out tomorrow. So all I have to do is say this. Remind me, take the garbage out, date, August 6th. As you can see, Sagan brought up and uh, wanted to confirm that I'll take the garbage out tomorrow, so I'll say yes to that. And then it also prompts me with a calendar, filling in the information and for that date. So I'll show you the calendar it brought up, 
calendar event. Then all I have to do is specify the time. So I'm going to back out of here and not set an event for the calendar. How is it going, Jesse? What can I do so. next? Your last text message is thank you. Okay, the next uh, thing I'm going to do is ask it to call a contact. Um, I have a contact named Brianna in my contacts. So all I got to do is say, call Brianna. Call Brianna at phone 701720 Everyone should have a virtual assistant like me. I am so not I said no to, to that. Arrogant, just stating a fact. How can I help you, Jesse? Your last text message is thank you. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate a text message um, using your voice. And this is really cool because Sagan can convert those special characters that are often used in text messages. For example, a question mark, uh, exclamation point, you know, an at symbol, comma. So what I'm going to do is add some of those characters in and show you how Sagan can convert that. Uh, Sagan will also capitalize the beginning of each sentence, provided that you end each sentence with a period. And to do that, you just say the word period after your sentence. So here I go. I'm going to say, um, how's it going, Brianna? Question mark. So I'll say that now. Send Brianna message. How's it going? Question mark. Are you sure you want to send message? How's it going? To contact Brianna with phone number 701720-8362. Everyone should have a virtual um, assistant like And if you me. noticed, uh, it added the question mark to the end of the statement. Just stating a fact. How can I help you, Jesse? Your last text message is thank you. So now maybe I'll do a little math here. Um, Sagan uses Wolfram Alpha, which is also used by Siri for a lot of things as well. Um, a lot of the virtual assistants use this for knowledge, you know, a knowledge base. So what I'm going to do here is... Um, I'm going to do just a simple math problem. I mean, very simple, but you'll see, hopefully, it'll answer correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and start that. 8 plus 3, subtract 4. 8, 3, 4, 20, 20. 8, 3, 4 equals 20 is 16.67% smaller than 8, 3 equals 24. Okay, that one didn't seem to be the correct answer, but it does do math, so that takes a little practice, I think. So, um, But anyway, uh, once you get it going, or you know, you're able to do math, it's really fun. And it does work, and it's, it's nice. Um, I think my mistake there is I used plus, I should have used add. So, or actually, um, I used add and I should have used plus. So, but... In any case, uh, I want to move on to some other commands. Um, this is specific to the full version. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, show some processes. This will show all my current processes running. I can uninstall a process. I can um, you know, switch to a process. I can uh, terminate a process you know, to free up my phone's memory. So here I go. Um, Show processes. There they are, brought up instantly. All I have to do is tap one to perform those extra functions. Okay, so let's say I want to add a contact and um, I'm out on the road and somebody has a phone number and I want to go ahead and add the contact. So what I'm going to do here is um, just say the add contact command to do this. Add contact Jim Jones phone 701-843-5555.
and Sir Jim Jones with phone number 7018435555 as a contact. See how easy that was? It'll instantly add it as a contact. And from there I can text uh, Jim. I can perform a number of functions there with regard to contacts once he's added. Jesse, what do you need so to I said do no to that, so that's not really you. a contact I want to add. It was just for demonstration purposes. So let's say that I want to call somebody. I haven't done that yet. Actually, I have. I've done call Brianna. I've also texted. Uh, set alarms. Uh, did a remind me. Now let's do a navigation. Let's say I'm out on the road and I... I'm in a new town and I want to go to a Walmart, but I'm not sure where the Walmarts are. So all I have to do is say this. Navigate Walmart. Here it brings up the area of Walmarts. And I'm going to select the first one. Head south on North 23rd Street toward D. Strasser Avenue. And there you go. See how easy that was? It's instant. And I've used this several times as well um, out on the road. All you have to do is leave Sagan running in the background. And even when you're in your car, if a text message comes in, Sagan will read it a couple times out loud. And uh, that's really nice because then I don't have to look at the phone. It just reads it. Uh, moving on to some other things, uh, let's say that you want to find a pizza location in your area. Now this leverages Google and it uses Google Browser to find these locations and you can call them from there. And Google Voice also does this. So here I go. Find pizza. And there we are brings up all the locations of the area pizza places and their phone numbers with regard to your location. Um, let's do some other commands. Let's say that I want to know my location and all I have to do is say the word location. Location. Give me a second to load your current location. You can click anywhere on the map for an address. There you go, that's my location. I can tap on the screen anywhere and find addresses near my location. So let's say that, uh, let's do some other stuff. Let's just um, 